Hi, good morning everyone. I'm Julia from Shining Star Readings and I'm here to do your weekly forecast reading for the week ahead. So starting today, all right, going all the way through to next Sunday. Now today, I've been very drawn to using the colour Faulkner Tarot. So it's these beautiful cards here, um, which many of you may have seen on my Facebook page. Okay, so this is the second tarot deck that's actually being created by Rhiannon Faulkner and it's actually the, the deck that I teach with. There's a 12 week course so if any of you are interested, you know, please get in touch and I can give you some more details. Anyway, let's get on to the matter of hand. So, we're going to shuffle the cards and I'm asking for the right cards to come out this week for a message. So this is going to be the general feel, the vibe, what can we expect for this week ahead? Okay, so remember this is for all of you, so I'm setting that intention as I shuffle. Okay. Okay, so we take one card for Monday, Tuesday. One card for Wednesday, Thursday, and then we take a final card for the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, let's see what the start of the week looks like. So, we have the Six of Pentacles, so immediately I want to talk about money. Pentacles is money, the materialistic side of life, um, within the Fortnite Tarot. And this is very much about hidden money coming to you. You know, I can see down here a note that's hidden under the wallet. So this card really is the Money Giver card. It's one of its nicknames. So some of you might get some unexpected money coming to you. It's quite magical, this card. Um, it also might be a time, Monday, Tuesday, when you feel as if the money's coming in, but then it's going out again very, very quickly. You know, are the bills all piling up? I know we're sort of approaching Christmas and a lot of us do have extra expenses, okay? You know, the children's Christmas lists are getting longer and longer, aren't they? Um, my son simply says money. He wants a new phone. Um, so, yes. Now, I do feel that money's coming in, but if we look at this card in a slightly different light, because I say it's a universal card, so... I want to talk about relationships, so this is about maybe a relationship around you becoming evenly balanced, so 50-50, you're both giving, you're both taking, alright, but I think the overall, the, the, the real meaning, vibe I'm getting from this card is this hidden money. Okay, so look out for that, it could be a tax rebate, it could be, I don't know, pay rise, it could be anything, something that you haven't had to earn, okay, um, yeah, and just keep those books balanced as well, I want to say today, alright, for those of you out there running your own businesses, okay, so let's have a look at Wednesday, Thursday, yippee, look, this is my card and Rhiannon's card, Queen of Wands, um, and it's actually her birthday this week. How cool is that? I'm just going to check what date her birthday actually is. Um, oh wow, Friday. This is Wednesday, Thursday. So, Queen of Wands, what can I tell you? Well, fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We tend to be there to help other people. That's what we do, okay? So this could be you taking on the traits of the Queen of Wands. It could be somebody who is a Queen of Wands or similar coming in around you to help you, all right? So very, very passionate lady and, you know, really does like to do everything that she can for others. Now, she's wearing the sunglasses and you can almost see the different colour here in skin tone and the way she's holding her head here. Some of us, not all of us, but some of us wandies, um, we do tend to put a mask on for the outside world. 
okay? And nobody, remember her eyes are covered? The eyes are the window to the soul. Nobody's going to see what's really going on inside, okay? Now, as I say, very passionate. I also want to add in that maybe listening might be key on these two days, Wednesday, Thursday. Listening to what others are saying, because I think you might learn something, or you might find it interesting. All right. Um, I also want to give you a lot of success, actually, around business with these two, with this card. Okay. Um, yeah, lots of success coming in around you with the business side. So things are on the up. Great card to have. Now, let's see what we've got in store for the weekend. So this will be Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Ten of Pentacles. These are brilliant cards this week, aren't they? Look at this. So, again, Pentacles. We're talking about money. We're talking about the materialistic side of life. Now, this is the very last card in the form of the tarot. And it's a lovely family home in Spain. Now, the difference is we've gone through all the ups and downs through the pentacle suit and we finally get to number 10 when we realise it's not all about the money that is important. What is important is well, the family. Who is with you behind that door at night? That's what's important. Home is where the heart is and it, it really shows with this card, okay? And home is very significant because if you think about it, in maybe not so much now, but in days gone by, um, our grandparents or our ancestors would leave property to the family. So it would be passed down the generation. Okay, so I see lots of positivity. This is all about growth. It's all about expansion within the family as well. And yeah, possibly the materialistic side, as I say, it is number 10. Um, but I just, it feels like a really, really good card. Um, I feel quite happy seeing this card for the weekend because the weekend is very much about family. So maybe some of you are going to be enjoying some quality time with your family this coming weekend so there we have it there are your cards for the week ahead if any of you would like a more personalized reading either on a daily basis or weekly or just a, a normal in-depth reading um, do drop me a message um, I don't have any time restraints on my in-depth readings they can last from 45 minutes to 90 minutes um, but all details can be found on the website www.shiningstarsreadingsandtherapies or you can find there will be details on my Facebook page as well Shining Star Readings or the other Facebook page Shining Star Therapies which focuses more on the holistic therapies that I offer okay now I'm just going to do a little bit of a plug um, this coming Saturday, the 29th of November, I'm going to be at Brenchley at a place called Grey's. It's a little calf in the village. Um, and I will be doing readings with the Faulkner Tarot or the Angel Tarot, whatever you prefer. And I will also be doing EFT sessions as well. Um, we've got quite a few stalls for this event. The, um, the little Holistics Tea Room. Again, posts will be put up again on the Facebook pages um, but we've got I think we've got Reiki I think we've got crystals I think we've got chocolates we've got quite a good selection coming um, to this event because it is the Christmas event so if you're in the area in Brenchley in Kent you know free parking free admission you know please pop in and see us um, the CAF is such a lovely environment and we love working there every three months. So lots and lots of love to you all and have a great week. Bye for now.